Good day! This is Diane Cabildes, your teacher presenter for today's episode of Teletruan in Mathematics. Our lesson for today is finding the greatest common factor and least common multiple of 2 to 4 numbers using continuous division. But before that, let's have a short review on factors and multiples. Are you ready? Let's start. Give the factors. 8. The factors of 8 are 1, 8, 2, and 4. Next, 12. The factors of 12 are 1, 12, 2, 6, 4, and 3. Next, give the first 5 multiples. The first one, 15. The first 5 multiples of 15 are 15, 30, 45, 60, and 75. Next, 20. The first five multiples of 20 are 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. Very good. Let's start the lesson with a word problem. Dana has two pieces of strings. One is 20 meters long and the other is 10 meters long. She cuts the string in the same length with the longest possible length. How long were the strings she made? Let's understand the problem. What is asked in the problem? The length of the strings Dana made. What are the given? 20 meters and 10 meters. Let's plan. What is the strategy to be used? Continuous division. Let's solve. We have step 1. Arrange the numbers horizontally. 20, 10. Step 2. Think of a prime number that can divide both numbers. So, for 20 and 10, we have 2. Step 3. Write the quotient below the dividend. 20 divided by 2 is 10. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Step 4. Continue the process until none of the numbers have a common divisor. 5 is a prime number that can divide 10 and 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 2 and 1 are the last quotient. Step 5. Multiply the common prime divisors. 2 times 5 equals 10. The greatest common factor is equal to 10. So the answer is 10 meters. Remember, greatest common factor of two or more numbers is the largest factor or divisor among the common factors of the numbers. Let's have another example. 15, 30, and 45. Step 1, arrange the numbers horizontally. We have 15, 30, and 45. Step 2. Think of a prime number that can divide both numbers. 5 is a prime divisor. Step 3. Write the quotient below the dividends. 15 divided by 5 is 3. 30 divided by 5 is 6. 45 divided by 5 is 9. Step 4. Continue the process until none of the numbers have a common divisor. Another prime divisor is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 1, 2, and 3 are the last quotients. Step 5. Multiply the common prime divisors. We have GCF is equal to 3 times 5. And 3 times 5 is equal to 15. Before we continue with our lesson, let's pause for a few reminders from our station. And we're back. Let's move on with another example. Andrew visits the gym every 6 days, while Marcus visits the same gym every 9 days. If they are in the gym today, after how many days will they be visiting the gym at the same time again? What is asked? The number of days until they will visit the gym at the same time. What are the given? 
6 days and 9 days. What is the strategy to be used? We're going to use continuous division. Let's solve. Step 1, arrange the numbers horizontally. 6 and 9. Step 2, think of a prime number that can divide both numbers. 3 is a prime number that can divide both 6 and 9. Step 3, write the quotient below the dividends. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Step 4, continue the process until none of the numbers have a common divisor. 2 and 3 are relatively prime numbers, which means they cannot be divided by same number other than 1. Step 5, multiply the common prime divisors and the last set of quotients. We have LCM or least common multiple is equal to 3 times 2 times 3 and that is equal to 18 and the answer is 18 days. Remember, least common multiple is the smallest multiple common to two or more numbers. Note that in GCF, only the prime divisor will be multiplied. Here in LCM, you have to multiply the prime divisors and the last set of quotients. Let's have another example, 40, 30, and 15. Let's find the LCM. Step 1, arrange the numbers horizontally. 45, 30, and 15. Step 2, think of a prime number that can divide both numbers. 3 is a prime number that can divide 45, 30, and 15. Step 3, write the quotient below the dividends. 45 divided by 3 is 15. 30 divided by 3 is 10. 15 divided by 3 is 5. Step 4, continue the process until none of the numbers have a common divisor. Another prime number that can divide the numbers is 5. 15 divided by 5 is 3. 10 divided by 5 is 2. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 1, 2, and 3 are relatively prime numbers. Let's now move on with the last step. Multiply the common prime divisors and the last set of quotients. So we have LCM is equal to 3 times 5 times 3 times 2 times 1 and that is equal to 90. And that's our last example for this lesson. Let's sum up the lesson. How we will you find the GCF through continuous division? Step 1. Arrange the numbers horizontally. Step 2. Think of a prime number that can divide both numbers. Step 3. Write the quotient below the dividends. Step 4. Continue the process until none of the numbers have a common divisor. And Step 5. Multiply the common prime divisors. And how do we find LCM or least common multiple through continuous division? Step 1. Arrange the numbers horizontally. Step 2. Think of a prime number that can divide both numbers. Step 3. Write the quotient below the dividends. Step 4. Continue the process until none of the numbers have a common divisor. And Step 5. Multiply the common prime divisors and the last set of quotients. Now it's your turn. Get ready with your paper and pen. Find the GCF and LCM of the numbers below. Number 1. 30, 15, and 16. Number 2, 12, and 20. Number 3, 25, and 10. Let's check. For number 1, 30, 15, and 16, the GCF is 15 and the LCM is 16. For number 2, 12, and 20, the GCF is 4 and the LCM is 16. For number 3, 25 and 10, the GCF is 5 and the LCM is 15. Very good! And that ends our lesson. Again, this is Diane Cabiltes of JP Milencio Memorial Elementary School. Thank you and keep safe everyone!